ain't got no money Take your broke ass home, Hey. graduation makeup tutorial from start to finish so I'm starting with a very 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 bare face freshly washed and cleansed and everything like that um, and I just show you guys how I get this look I did do more of a natural brow and I kind of wanted to do something that I figured everyone could do so a foolproof makeup tutorial as far as like the eyes like I used three eyeshadows and a liner and called it a day put on some lashes and like went out the door literally not out the door but like you know, you know, you know what I mean. But anyways, congrats to anyone that's graduating high school or college or university, whatever you're graduating with, with your diploma, your associate's degree, your bachelor's, your master's, whatever. Congratulations, you accomplished something amazing. <laughs> um, so a lot of my friends have graduated. My boyfriend also graduated. So I decided to do something for graduation. So I did bust out my old high school graduation or my, uh, what is this called? My cap and gown because I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta get into character. So um, I did bust this out. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you do, please give the video a thumbs up. Also let me know if you are graduating or if you've already graduated or whatever, let me don't know, let me know down below. Also let me know what you graduated with. So if you graduated college, what your associate's degree was in, or if you graduated from a university, which your bachelor's or your master's was in, I would love to know because I find that like the most interesting thing ever. Um, so yeah, or if you're planning on going back to school, also let me know that because I've been thinking that I need to go back to school. I've always wanted to be a teacher um, mainly either with children or special education so I've been like talking to Jack about doing that but I have a million and three things of what I want to do so I just need to learn how to take it one, one day at a time so anyways I hope you all enjoy the video if you do please give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe before you go and I will see you guys in the next video Mwah. bye hi guys welcome back to my channel so we are going to start with a clean face as i mentioned i am using my la roche posay tolerant tolerane double repair moisturizer just to moisturize my skin then i'm going to go into this hemp's lip chap chapstick lip gloss whatever you want to go with and then i'm going to prime my skin and this is the coastal scent the beginner face primer this is a silicone based face primer and then i am going to go in with foundation this is the revlon color stay foundation in the shade cappuccino now i do see that it looks very very orange on me right now um, I do need more of a golden base foundation but I you wore this to work one day and it looked perfectly fine so I don't know if it's the lighting or what but after that I go in with the LA girl pro conceal concealer and this is in the shade fawn which is also a more yellow based or golden based undertone concealer so it kind of I don't want to say like balances it out but makes it a little bit better so um, yeah I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender uh, if you're going for your graduation you want to make sure that you use your beauty blender wet if you use it uh, dry or damp it won't blend out as well so using it wet any sponge the real techniques beauty blender uh, l'oreal sponge whatever sponge you use using it wet will just help the concealer and foundation blend into the skin a lot easier and then for found or for setting that i'm going to use the ruby kisses mineral powder this is a face powder that i get from my local beauty supply store you can also get ruby kisses at walmart and i believe this was like 5.99 or something really inexpensive like that so after that I go in and contour and I'm using my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. You guys know I absolutely love this palette. I use it all the time. And I'm using a Nikki Garrett contour. It's more of a setting brush, but I like to use it for contouring because it comes to the point and it gets in my cheekbones and my forehead really well. And then I just contour the nose. So now I'm using a blush out of the Coastal Sense 26 Eye and Blush Palette or Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. And I'm just using a dual fiber brush. These blushes are pigmented. They are extremely pigmented, which is why I was kind of chuckling a little bit ago. So now I'm using the Jordana Quick Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm just using this to lightly fill in my brows. I've been doing more of a natural brow lately, whereas I'm doing little hair-like strokes as opposed to really defining and drawing my brows on. And then I use that same LA Girl Concealer to clean up underneath and just kind of give it a sharper edge for uh, the eyeshadow. 
So first I'm going in with Harvest Brown. This is a Coastal Scents eyeshadow. This is one of their regular hot pots and I'm using a Sigma E35 eyeshadow brush just to blend that into the crease. This is going to be your transition shade. We are doing an easy eyeshadow look. Then I go back into that 26 eyeshadow and blush palette and take that darker kind of brownish reddish brown shade and I take that on a Coastal Scents blending brush and blend that into the crease as well as my second shade. And then after that I use Deep Roast which goes on all over the lid and also up into the crease and I'm just using a wide shader brush by Sigma to apply this and as you can see I'm kind of swiping that up into the crease again and then I just go back in with the previous brush with no additional product and just blend that with that bridge shade that we put down and then now I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner this is in black is black and I'm using an eyeliner brush by the Pretty Bar and I'm just doing this really close to my eye uh, my lash line this is just going to define the lashes for when we apply our lashes later and then right after I apply it I just take a smudge brush with no product on it and I just use this to smudge that out so it looks a little bit more smoky and less defined and kind of stark and this also just adds a little more edgy kind of smoky sultriness to the eye look so now I'm going in with my CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara just to coat my lashes with mascara and kind of separate them because I have really curly lashes. Then I use my Coco Lashes in the Style Queen B for lashes because these are life and they're my favorite. You can get them on LadyMossBeauty.com. And then to highlight, I use the City Color Cosmetics Highlight Trio to apply this to my cheekbones and I'm using a BH Cosmetics Fan Brush. So I go back into that eyeshadow palette by Coastal Scents and I take that bronzy shade and just apply that into the inner corner. And then I decided, ah, oh, let's go ahead and put that on the brow bone just to separate the brow bone from the eyeshadows that we placed in the crease. So I just take a little bit of the, um, little bit of that shade onto the upper brow bone area. And then for lips, I'm using a NYX suede matte lip liner. This is in Downtown Beauty. You guys already know it's like one of my favorite favorite brown lip liners and then I take a ColourPop liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Trap so it's a really light nude kind of uh, blush kind of color but it looks really pale on me because I'm darker uh, and then I go in with the Easy Breezy Brow by CoverGirl this is in the shade brown or brunette and I use this to kind of furthermore make my brow hairs look a little bit more hair like as opposed to really stark and then for lip gloss I use a Revlon HD lip gloss in the shade Smoky Topaz. So I just want to add a little bit more gloss as opposed to matte. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. That completes my look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you all have a great time at your graduation and good luck with whatever comes next. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye. Yes, I'm fine.